Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I have for you today our Tesco weekly food haul. We went back there because as I've said before we've got the delivery plan so it makes sense really to use it when we can. It was a fairly big shop even for us. I wanted to get a few bits of meat just so I can do a bit of batch cooking this week and yeah just needed a few bits that were running out. We ran our freezer down really well last week so I've got a bit more space to stock up again. So yeah I like to just do a bit of batch cooking so that on the busy days we can just kind of take something out in the morning and have it that evening. So that's the plan this week. I will try and run through the meal plan at the end of this video if I remember. I sometimes load it up and then I think oh I didn't do it so I will try to remember to do that later on today. really hope you enjoy and I will see you soon. So starting down in this corner we've got our usual biscuits, bourbons and custard creams. That's just for everyone to nibble at really for the week and then we've got some chocolate buttons, just the little six pack. This corner and a bit at the other end, it just bits for us to take away when we go on holiday in a few weeks. Basically just bribing the kids to hopefully stay quiet in the car and just to take out with us for treats on the beach and things like that. And then I've got a packet of Smarties, a pack of these Cadbury Brunch Bar chocolate chips. Haven't had these in a long time and they were reduced. I think they were down to 90p or so. So I thought I'd pick those up to take away as well. And then some strawberry yogurt flakes and then I've got two raisins. Toy Story 4 ones and Pepper ones just to keep the kids happy. Over the back, Cathedral City Bait Bites, they're really good. I think you get six or seven individually wrapped, like individual bags, and they work really well for picnics. Some lemon French fancies because everyone loves lemon, don't they? And then some mini rolls, these were both on offer at a pound or less. And finally some Kit Kats to take away. We're stocking up a bit to take things away with us just for the long journey and also when we're away. Sorry about the sunshine again. Every time I do this of an afternoon, the sun comes streaming in. We've got a big pack of Diet Cokes and then we've got some kettle chips and some Tesco tortilla chips and some hula hoops. We've got the big bags because we've got friends around for a socially distanced barbecue tomorrow. So just stocking up on sharing crisps some ready brick and then we've gone for the orange lemon and pineapple squash we've got some tomato ketchup some oregano because we ran out and then some rolls for tomorrow we've got some brioche burger rolls and some hot dog rolls haven't gone too mad because i've still got some in the freezer as well we've got some short crust pastry to make a chicken pie at some point some pork and beef meatballs the kids just like these with spaghetti sometimes for a quick dinner and then two lots of the bird's eye beef quarter pounders. I don't normally get bird's eye, but I think these ones must have been on offer. So they were obviously a fairly good buy. And then two packs of 12 pork sausages. We won't use all of them on the barbecue, but obviously it's good to have more than you need. A butter basted British whole chicken in the bag. What we do is we use half of it on a roast chicken dinner. And then whatever's left over, I use to make a pie. So I'll just show you quickly. I make my pie by picking off all the excess chicken. I buy the short crust pastry block, which I showed you just now. And then I use the condensed cream of chicken soup, which I've also bought in the shop. And then you can either add leeks or anything you want really, or you can just have plain chicken if that's what you prefer. And it's a really foolproof recipe and it's absolutely delicious with some veg and gravy. So that's what we're having one of the days this week. I've got some wafer thin cooked ham. I haven't had these for a bit. Again, the chicken char grills. I've said before, it's just a quick dinner for the kids if we're having something spicy or something that they really don't like. And I just do this with some mash, veg and gravy and they're happy. The mango, coconut and lime chicken fillets. We're really hooked on these. They're delicious on the barbecue. We all like those. And then some 5% steak mints because I want to just kind of do a bit of batch cooking this week so that we've got some more food in the house that's easy to grab. So I want to make some cottage pies and spaghetti bolognese and things like that. And then we've got a garlic baguette, some double cream, that's just to go with the strawberries for the barbecue. And then some chocolate mousse, sorry the sunshine's so, so bright. Some lasagna sheets, because I haven't made a lasagna in ages. And in fact, I might make that with the statements this week for a change. And then over here, we've got some corned beef. I've picked that up for my parents, we're not keen. Two tins of tuna, the soup that I mentioned just now, and then we've got a tin of the Growers Harvest Sweet Corn, just one tin of baked beans, uh, the creamy tomato and herb pasta bake, and then our usual four pint of whole milk. We've still got some left over from last week, so I haven't gone mad. Pack of mixed grapes, and then these three for 150 on the watermelon fingers. A head of broccoli. I picked up these chicken fridge radius. I'm not keen on things like this. But like I say, we've got lots of days out like picnics and things like that. And if it keeps the kids happy, then I'm happy with it. We take salady bits for them as well, sweet corn bits and pieces. 
So they have a fairly kind of balanced picnic, if you like. Uh, but they really like these, so, you know, it is the summer holidays after all. A margarita pizza, because that was on offer. And then we've got some mixed leaf salad, some sweet mini peppers and a courgette. I actually jazz up my couscous with the sweet peppers, the courgette and the little red onion that's hiding there. And it makes a really nice yummy couscous with the barbecue. So I'll do that this week. A big bag of baking potatoes. <laughs> there are some whoppers in there. And then a bag of sweet potatoes and a large butternut squash. This is to make sweet potato and butternut squash soup, which is really yummy. Over here are the last few little sweets that I'm putting away for the holiday for the journeys. Some wine gums, some fruit pastels, and then 20 bags of drumstick squashies, which I think they were two pounds something, which I didn't think was too bad. Obviously, if they're just individually wrapped, then they're gonna last longer. There's no arguing about how many the kids are gonna have. They can just have a small pack. And yeah, I just thought they would be a very, very good thing to have on holiday. And over the back there, some nappy pants just to keep stocked up, some nappy bags, some Colgate, two of the hand gels, because we are on to our last one. And again, with going away, I just wanted to make sure we've definitely got like one in the beach bag and one in my bag as well. Some two in one duff because it just makes hair washing easier when we're away. Two palm olives, and then I've got a Dettol surface cleaner. And finally, some Andrex, because that was 3 50 which was the same price pretty much as the Tesco toilet roll. And that is everything. Excuse my appearance, I am just gonna run through my meal plan quickly. I'm actually filming this the day after I filmed the shopping haul. I have to apologize for my very, very pink face. We've been to the beach today and I've massively caught the sun. It was just such a hot day, kind of cloudy as well. So it's caught me out a bit this time. So I will just quickly run through the meal plan as I promised earlier in the video. Yesterday, which is when I filmed the video was Tuesday and we had spaghetti bolognese. It was one of the last things I had in the freezer to run down so I got rid of that and we had it with spaghetti and a bit of salad. Today, which is Wednesday, we have actually had homemade chicken pie. It's a simple recipe that I made with some chicken that I had. I bought some short crust pastry that I rolled out and I actually used condensed chicken soup. It's a really simple recipe, so if anyone wants to see it, then I can try and film it sometime in the next month or so when we might have it again. And we had that with mashed potatoes and vegetables and gravy, and that was really nice. And the kids are starting to like that as well. They've always been a bit iffy about pie, but we just keep serving it up and eventually they get used to seeing it and they try it more. So tomorrow, which is Thursday, to hoping to do a bit of batch cooking tomorrow in the morning. And one of the things I'm gonna make is a lasagna. I've decided I'm gonna make two smaller ones, so we will have one tomorrow with garlic bread and salad and the other one I will pop in the freezer for another time. Friday we are going to have some spicy fish skewers. It's a recipe that my brother lent to me a while back. Loosely follows a gusto version and yeah I'm going to give it a bash and see how it turns out and I think I'm going to serve it with some salad and some spicy rice. So I'll see how it turns out and again if it's something that works out and it's something that sounds interesting then it is one that I'm happy to film at a later date. Saturday we are having like a cheesy vegetable pasta to bake. It's really, really delicious. It's a really cheesy pasta dish and it's got loads of hidden veg in like courgettes and onions, tomatoes, and the kids love it as well. And we absolutely, absolutely love that one. It's a firm favorite. And we are having that again with some salad and garlic bread. So we're quite into the salad this week because it's meant to be quite a hot week in the UK. So I'm sort of chosen a few more salad dishes. Sunday, we're hoping to have a barbecue. I've always got barbecue meat in. Just a few rolls that I need. So I might venture out into our local Asda and pick up a few rolls, which will be the first time I've gone into a shop since the 14th of March, I think it is. So big decision on whether I do that or whether we just kind of use some of the bake at home finger rolls that I always have in. Uh, I might just do that, but I'll see. And then on Monday, I'm going to make some homemade chicken Kievs. It's more like a breaded chicken a scallop, but you make up a garlicky sauce and we're gonna have that with new potatoes and runner beans and we will all have that one. So yeah, that's the meal plan for the week ahead. So hopefully we will stick to it as much as we can. And yeah, I'll see you soon. Thanks so much for watching my video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, that would be amazing. I'm on Instagram with the name mama underscore hedgehog two and on channel mum with the name mama hedgehog. See you soon, everyone. Bye.